Hi everyone, I'm Deborah Ruther. Here's your political news update for Tuesday, March 22nd. The Libyan conflict has driven a temporary wedge between the leaders of Russia. President Dmitry Medvedev criticized the Prime Minister this week after berating Western countries for considering a no-fly zone and military action against Libya. PM Vladimir Putin called the UN's resolution a medieval appeal for a crusade. Medvedev then called Putin's language unacceptable. Meanwhile, a U.S. fighter jet on its way to Libya crashed Monday due to an equipment malfunction. Both crew members ejected from the plane in time and are said to be doing okay. One pilot landed in a field near a small town. After the people learned he was an American, they lined up to thank him for his help and delivered him back to U.S. forces. Also in the Middle East, Yemen's embattled president said he will step down by the end of the year. Despite this concession, President Ali Abdullah Saleh refuses to hand leadership over to the opposition, a party which includes influential clergy and tribal leaders, as well as many army commanders. Anti-government protesters have called Saleh's 32-year reign a dictator regime. And back home, former Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty announced he was putting together an exploratory committee for the 2012 race. This means Pawlenty will be exploring his chance of winning if he decides to make a bid for the White House. So far, about a dozen Republicans have said that they are considering a run. That's your political news update for Tuesday, March 22nd. I'm Deborah Ruther. Check back with RTTNews.com all day for the latest political headlines.